Hello, hi. Hi, hello. Oh, a bit chaotic. I was planning to come in earlier, but um, it didn't happen. <laughs> so what are we doing today? I've forgotten already. Um, okay. We'll dig up that hole. Picking up wood, I know that much. I can't remember what else I was going to do. Oh dear, oh dear. This is when I need Miss Stray to come on and remind me. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Miss Stray. So, what am I doing today? Because I cannot, for the life of me, remember. Well, speak to me. Wood and stone, thank you. Uh, should we go with angry? Yes, yeah, bit of a chaotic morning. I don't know really why. Took me a couple of hours to sort of like wake up and then I had a shower and I've re-dyed my hair. And I'm sitting there with the hair dye on and thought, Oh shoot, it's quarter past one. Hi Vicky. So I had to go and wash the hair dye off and dry my hair and, and get sorted and ready. I haven't even done the washing up and I need to do the washing up because the stuff I used to make tea last night, I need to um, use to make tea tonight because last night I tried my hand at crispy shredded chicken and it was rather delicious but Alex said that the chicken strips were a little bit too big. So obviously I need to um, do smaller chicken strips next time. Oh, Christoph, why haven't you got any stone? Shop, yes, of course. Friends, the trolls would love you. Thank you, I'm sure I would love them too. Why are you sad today, Vicky? Uh, same colour, no, per, um, I'd run out of pink, so I've used vermilion red. Still got the purple underneath, and then vermilion red on top, and it's it's very red. But, uh, yeah, I need, uh, need to get this month out of the way. Ooh. Oh, greetings, neighbour. Nice. Um, and then I can get myself some more pink, because I've got three birthdays at the end of this month like my two sons on the 27th and the 28th of August and my son-in-law's on the 27th as well so I need to be buying their presents oh, don't remember seeing you. them before but clearly I've already got them bye -bye now. Oh, greetings, neighbor. cupboard oh. really Thank you kindly. Good day to you. I like that Oh no, Vic, when do you get paid? Goodbye now. Good day to you. Aye. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Greetings, neighbor. Aye. Bye bye now. Not buying another oh, cone. That's pretty. Thank you kindly. Oh, look, I'm full again. That's nice. I like that. That sucks, Vic. Can you not, like, go to a food bank or call on a friend? I like that little black cardigan. And why can't you play Dreamlight Valley? Uh, interesting. Oh uh, yeah, friends are always busy when you're in need, aren't they? But you have to drop everything for them. Been there, done that. Don't do it anymore. Thank you kindly. 
And the simple way of me doing it, because, ah, oh, that's pretty, I've got one of those, but never mind. Um, I distanced myself from all of my friends. So, that was the easiest way to do it, because I don't know how to say no. Yeah, I've always got some uh, noodles in and pasta in sauce for such emergencies. Although my preferred go-to I'm broke meal of choice is like a little tin of beans on toast. But Alex likes the, the pasta in sauce, the mac and cheese stuff. I like the noodles, but um started to give me heartburn, so I don't do it. Oh, no. But well, they're changing Game Pass, aren't they? Well, not Game Pass. You've got Games Pass. They're changing um, Xbox Gold. They're getting rid of it. And changing it to Game Pass Core. Which means that I think you get about 25 games on there as part of the Game Pass thing. But you also get to go live, which is what I want to do. Because I want to... Um, I want to... What do I want to do? Um... Well, I don't know what I want to do. I've forgotten. Okay. So, we want sticks and we want rocks. So, I need to look out for boulders as well as sticks. What did I want the stones for again? Oh, yeah. To make chests. <laughs> Oh, God, see, my mind's all over the place today. I don't know what's going on. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. One day I will get round to doing a, a feeding session with all the animals. I don't even know which ones I haven't got. But there's probably a few. And they're usually the ones that are on at specific times when I'm not on, so... I love running around the racetrack. I'm a simple soul. Okay. Yes. Which is why you need, I mean, I think when, when you get to my age, you don't get lonely. I, I know when I was your age, I did get lonely and, and felt the need to have friends around me. Now I don't. I'm quite content with my own company and chatting to you guys when I stream. But uh, other than that, I'm good. Well, I won't be on till Friday after today because uh, tomorrow I'm going to visit my cat. And Thursday, I'm going with my daughter and my granddaughters to Cadbury World. Woo! -woo! Free chocolate. <laughs> How terrible. Uh, don't give up, Vic. There is always light at the end of the tunnel, believe me. It may not seem like it, but things generally come right eventually. Just, you know, yeah, I know, I understand you get fed up. Fed up waiting. I heard from a friend of mine today. Um, I've known her. Oh, gosh. I've known her since um, she was pregnant with her first child. I think David's got to be. He's slightly younger than Dan, so he's got to be around he's his early 30s now. Um, and we, we lived in the same block of flats together, and we were really good friends. And I became friends with the rest of her family. Um which in some circumstances I regretted because her one brother um, basically borrowed a load of um, Mega Drive games off me. Was it Mega Drive or was it PS1? Oh, I can't remember. But anyway, um, he was only supposed to borrow them for like a week and they never got them back. I think he sold them. 
but um, he kept saying he'd still got them. They were in his loft because he'd moved house, etc., etc. But yeah, I never got them back. Um, but Dawn's always been a really good friend, um, and we hadn't seen each other for years. She ended up moving to Spain, um, and we didn't really keep in touch. But you know what it's like when you've got a good friend. After like 10, 15 years, you talk to them and it's like you only saw them yesterday. When I had my um, incident, Dawn had messaged me saying that she felt something wasn't right. And I messaged her back saying, well, I'm in hospital. And she flew up to the hospital to see me and she visited me every day. And she bought me supplies of Monster, which I was drinking at the time. And she bought me cigarettes in and... She was just, she was so there, her and her daughter Sophie were just wonderful. And uh, she came to visit me a couple of times when I was out of the hospital, but then she'd got things going on in her life and and then COVID, so she couldn't come and see me because that that, that, I came out of hospital in the January and the lockdown started in the March. Um... And she messaged me today saying, sorry, she hadn't been in touch. I think the last message she sent me was to have a good holiday, which was like last year, obviously. But she's had such a lot go on in her life. And I'm thinking, you know, I need to go and visit her this time because she's been diagnosed with fibromyalgia and someday she can't walk at all. Um, so, yeah, I'm feeling the need to... Uh, I'm going to knock these down because there's a few too many. And one of them might have a chest hidden inside of course not or I'll pick up the snowballs as well because you know um but yeah it was lovely to hear from her and I haven't replied because I think it'd be, it'd be a lot easier if I could just phone her so much to catch up on but uh there you go I've picked some balls up Miss Stray she loved living in Spain she ran a restaurant over there but ended up coming back and ended up reuniting because like my, my daughter was like bridesmaid at her wedding and she that's random she uh she ended up getting divorced um and then she married again and that's who she moved to spain with but that didn't work out so when she came back to england she got back with her original husband and i mean he's lovely and yeah it all worked out happily ever after-ish. Except for her health issues. Yeah, I think that's what it would be with me and Dawn. If I phoned her, we'd be on the phone for hours. But, you know, I think I need to. Because I can't sit and type everything in, in a message. So, yeah, I'll give her a call. And uh, see how she's doing properly. And then see if I look at the courage to go and visit. I mean, it was her mother-in-law's funeral a few weeks ago at the cemetery just up the road from me. But uh, I was going to go, but then I was just got too anxious and, and I couldn't go. So, yeah, Let's see if I can pluck up the balls to go and see her. Merlin, I love you. What small discoveries? Well, I'm talking to you. Yes. <laughs> Delightful. <laughs> Get there faster going in circles instead of keeping to a straight line. Really? With you now. <laughs> okay, I'll collect that. Thanks. Well, apparently you can get memories sometimes from watering dried flowers. I live in hope. Is that a big rock over there? No, it's a, a night thorn and some brains. Why am I watering the night thorn? I just, uh, he reminds me when, um, when Alex was in like primary school, um, 
I don't know what you call that in America. But he was probably about six or seven. And they did a nativity play. And him and his friend George were, I guess you'd call them slaves. They had to walk in behind, um, or attendants, walking behind the three wise kings. And they got these like little tunics on. And they'd both got these incredibly spindly legs. <laughs> it was like, oh, God. It looks so funny. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> yeah, run away, Mr. Crocodile. Run away. I'm tree hopping. Is that grade school? Yeah, we're about that age, seven or eight. Yeah, because we have primary and secondary school and then like sixth form college which they go to from 16 to 18 so i'm guessing that's just is that high school how old is how old do you yeah i don't know i don't know how they work it in america it's always confused me especially when you watch greece and you've got 40 year old people who are still in high school lols So what age do they go to college? I'm assuming that's like our university, 18 and upwards. And what age do they start grade school? Oof, lots of lovely wood around here. How kind. Don't think there's any wood ever over here, is there? No. But we'll check for the blue chest. Don't forget the blue chest. Yeah, so that's, that's, we've got, I suppose nursery would be like preschool, primary school, grade school, senior school or secondary school, high school, and then college, university. Yeah, yeah, I think ours is the same. Well, I think it's four or five when they move up from um, nursery into infants. Because, like, basically you've got two two designations in... Um, what am I doing? Two designations in junior school. I mean, primary school. You've got the infants and the juniors. So I think... I mean, I, it's been a while... I think you move up into the juniors when you're seven or eight. And then you're there till what they call year six, which is when you then go to senior school. I don't know. I get very easily confused. It's been a long time since my children were at school. I know Erin... When she goes back to school in September, she'll be starting her second year in senior school. So she'll be, I think they call it year eight nowadays. It's all changed from when I was at school, obviously. Hello, fairy bibbidi bobbidi. Thank you. Well, that does it. Goodbye. Um, so, yeah, Vicky, have you got no food in the house whatsoever? Maybe this is what Merlin means by treasure. I mean, thinking about it, I'm sure he said that to me before, so... I didn't put too much credence in that.
Let's see how much dark wood we can find today. Up here. and round the tree like a teddy bear one step two step pick it up over there so hard to spot the dark wood i see i know what you mean about paving it now i think that's what i shall do i like the purple grass though oh yeah, that is never pleasant. I told you what happened to me on uh, Thursday night, didn't I? Oh, today I can get through there. Interesting. Oh, um, I had one of my, thankfully not too frequent, um, flare-ups, um, which generally involves excruciating stomach pain and having to sit on the toilet and pray for it to be over. But sometimes it comes along with me needing to vomit. Um, now I used to have, in my, in my house, I used to have an old washing up bowl in there for that purpose but I haven't since so I was left with a choice do I puke on the floor and clean it up afterwards or do I stand up turn around puke into the toilet and hope that nothing comes out the other end while I'm doing it so um, unfortunately why is that glittering and there thank you um, some poop fell out my bottom while I was being sick. Um, and I've come to the conclusion that I would much rather clean up poop off the floor than puke. So it worked quite well. I mean, I was, it was a lot of sick. It just kept coming and coming and coming. And, uh, I was just like there puking and pooping, thinking I'm so glad I haven't got to clean this up off the floor. So, yeah, it was fun. But having said that, it wasn't nearly as bad when we first moved into Dorchester. Um, I had a really, really bad one. Um, it knocked me out for about three days and I had to keep going to the toilet um, and being sick and all that business. And Alex had like bought me the bowl in. So anyway, in the middle of the night, I'd had to get up a few times and I'd gone the one time. And I think I'd been sick. No, I'd had my poop and that was over and done with. And then I felt like I needed to be sick. So I stood up and started being sick. Next thing I know, I've opened my eyes. I'm on the floor with the bathroom door hanging over me because I'd knocked it off his hinges when I passed out. <laughs> so I sort of lay there thinking, oh, well, that, that could have been worse. <laughs> and like sort of got up cleaned up whatever mess I'd made went to bed and then um, had to get back up to go to the toilet I think it was about seven-ish so I went into Alex and said right be careful when you go to the bathroom because the door's broken and he was like huh what why I said because I passed out in the night and knocked it off its hinges so <laughs> he was yeah he was slightly concerned but I said oh, I'm all right you know nothing nothing to see here just I do have a bit of a bump on my head but I'm okay so I don't know if I fainted and hit the door or I fainted hit the door and knocked myself out as well so it was like a double whammy that's the word isn't it but yeah as long as it's never as bad as that again I don't care 
And it's, you know, sometimes it happens because I've eaten food that I know I shouldn't eat. Um, but my view is I enjoy it. So every so often I'm going to eat it and pay the price, basically. You know, and, and that's my choice. But yeah, it was it was it was definitely fun. I haven't seen the blue chest. Hello, house. Are you hiding the blue chest behind you, or did I go behind you? It's not here. Hello. Oh. I'm not answering a spam call. Thank you. You think they'd have better manners, really? You know, I'm I'm straight. Oh, hello, Belle. Belle, you're not Belle. You're Ariel. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yes. Yeah, so Friday I'll be streaming again. Um, I have got a doctor's appointment, but that's at like ten to eleven. So I'll be back well in time. It's only for a blood pressure check. Now I've been once. They're going to keep wanting to see me, aren't they? Damn it! They've got their claws in me again. I've avoided it for about three years, but hey ho! It really does, doesn't it? It's, it's like everything started going downhill. I think once I hit forty, I'm gonna say once I hit forty, it all started going wrong. I mean, I keep seeing this advert for um, this like chair yoga for seniors, and I'm thinking. What's that? Oh my god. What? What was that? Did you hear that? That was scary. Was that my other self? But yeah, anyway, so this chair yoga and I thought... That looks like something, A, I could do because it's not too physically demanding. And B, it says it helps you lose weight. So I've gone on the thing and filled in the questionnaire. They say, ask you, like, you know, height, weight, age, what weight do you want to reach, blah, 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 blah. Um, and, I mean, the weight I want to reach is probably I need to lose about nine stone. So about 130 pounds, say. And they reckon that I could reach that goal by February next year. And I'm thinking, well, you reckon I can lose like nine stone in like six, seven months? You didn't hear anything. There was a voice going, la, 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 la. And I thought, well, that that's, that's crap, really. And then it says like, you know, uh, we've we've devised your plan. It's ready. You need to pay us twenty five pounds a month for your plan. And I thought twenty five pounds a month. Well, I would lose weight, wouldn't I? Because I'd starve to death because I wouldn't be able to afford to buy any food. So not happening. Yeah, that was that was that's really scared me. That has that's put the wind up me proper. Get, right, I need to find a mining companion and go mining. So, yeah, I mean, my, my reckoning, like, you know, it's a healthy to, to lose about a pound to two pounds a week. And it'd take me a good few years to lose, like, 130 pounds. Where am I going? What was I going to do? I was going to put the stuff in my house. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then find... I should really go and get my pumpkins done and planted. But yeah, that's ooh, giving me the judders. Don't know what that was. Will any fit in there? Probably not. Oh, something did. Oh, not my stones, though. Oh, look at me with my 23 dark wood now. Yeah, 
my vision I've always had really good vision and around the age of 40 I noticed that like trying to read things because I was like I was a manager in a shop then and obviously having to do like the figures at the end of the day and it was all done in pen not on the computer at that time and uh I was struggling to see so I went to the optician and because I was working I would have had to pay for an eye test um but the the way you can get a free eye test in the UK if you're working is to say that there's a history of glaucoma in your family and they'll give you a free eye test so I went to the opticians and said like I was adopted which is true and I just found out that my mother had been diagnosed with my birth mother had been diagnosed with glaucoma so uh I'd like an eye test to make sure I haven't got it so I got a free eye test and they basically said I needed reading glasses so I got the reading glasses and um, it's it's kind of why are these holes here I don't want to plant a seed oh my who's digging holes was it me I thought I always filled them in anywho I need to go and find a mining companion um, yes, yeah, so I've had reading glasses ever since, but I th I thought they were getting worse, and I was buying like the the cheap reading glasses in different strengths. So like I went from a a two to a two point five, and then to a three, so on and so forth. Um, but when I went and had my eyes tested recently. I'm still a 2.5 and they, the glasses they gave me brilliant so I do not recommend cheap was that Anna then she's a miner I completely walked past her gosh are you down there no no you're Ariel you're not anything you're Scar you're a gardener yeah I don't know what I'm doing. I'll look on the map. Okay, so Anna's up there, right? Okay, Anna, I'm coming for you. Oh, Olaf. Olaf could be a miner as well. We are so lucky to have you here. Oh, don't. I've only got a year and a bit to go. And it's not even, I mean, like in, in my mum's day, you hit 60, you get your state pension and you get um, a free bus pass and like free dental and eye and all that kind of stuff. And they've changed it all now. So to get my state pension and my free bus pass, I'll be 67. Did she just throw all those out? Wow, you've been saving them up from somewhere, Anna. Yeah, so, I mean, technically, that means I'd have to work till I was 67. But obviously, I'm not capable of that now, so... I you she throws one thing but that was a proper handful she must have had it from whenever the last time was that I used and abused her okay picked up another snowball at least with all this gold I should be able to uh, make some more gold paving to put round the trees hello black flower I'm coming for you um, around the trees in the forbidden, forgotten, forbidden, whatever it is. Oh, for goodness sake. Ah. Well, 
Well, I'm on what they call here universal credit. Um, so it's like it's like unemployment benefit, um, which is like three hundred and something pounds a month, which they reckon a, an adult should be able to live on. Plus, I get half the rent, which is fine, and plus, um, I get incapable of work or work-related activities which is a, another 300 and something pounds a month. So it's about 600 pounds, 700 pounds a month that I get to live on, plus my rent paid, which isn't a huge amount. But um, they do do a, a disability thing here, which is called PIP, Personal Independence Payment. I did apply for it a few years ago and got turned down, so I haven't. I haven't tried again because because they're not very nice to people. I think because at the time they were doing phone interviews because of COVID. Um, the fact that I took the phone call on my own and didn't have anybody there with me counted against me. Because obviously my anxiety wasn't so bad if I could talk on the phone. And it was like, I'm not anxious about talking on the phone, I'm anxious about leaving the house, going on public transport, being surrounded by people, but they disregarded all of that. So, yeah, I shan't bother again. Sodom. I suppose in America as well, getting like free medical is huge because it's so expensive to have healthcare in your country. That's what I thought was wicked when um, I dislocated Alex's knee um, in Florida, that because the paramedics came and were able to treat it on scene, um, it didn't cost anything. From $200 to $23. When the cost of everything is going up. How the fluffing heck are you supposed to rely, uh, like, survive on that? <laughs> Jesus, I thought ours were bad, but my God. Wow, that's terrifying. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know if it's the same all over America, but apparently if you call the emergency services out, like the paramedics, treatment on site is free. It's only if you get in the ambulance that you get charged, something like that. So they, they, like, relocated his knee in the restaurant. Yeah, so you called them. And what possible justification did they have for that? See, I mean, for all that I hate our government, because as far as I'm concerned, the Conservative Party is the rich people's party and they'll do their damnedest to do everybody else down. But with all this cost of living crisis and everything, um, they paid us, they paid us lump sums um, on top of, I mean, they, they have put the benefits up. Not in line with inflation, but we still got a raise, only like a couple of pounds a month, but it was something. But they also, they, for one, they gave, um, how much was it? I think it was like 69 pounds a month 
towards um, energy bills over the winter, so from October to March, um, you basically got like 70 quid a month. Um, so like, because I paid by direct debit and I was paying, how much was I paying? I think I was paying £100 a month, so for like five, six months, I only had to pay like £30 a month. And then, yeah, same thing then, isn't it? But yeah, and then and then they've, they've done this thing where they, they give you a cost of living payment. So it's like 300 and you get it, not like very often. I think we had one, uh, I'm going to say in April, we do another one in November. And then the last one, which I'm thinking they're probably hoping they'll have sorted everything out by then, um, next spring. So, I mean, it's not a huge amount, but every little helps. And I can't believe they've cut your benefits to that extent. I could understand if they say, well, yeah, we've got to reduce it by a tenner a month. But to reduce it down to, ah, oh, that's, that's criminal. Yes, I wonder, I wonder why it was free. Because obviously we got holiday insurance, but yeah, it was no charge unless we got in the ambulance. So that was awesome. What? Jesus. See that I just don't. It should, you should have like a system like the NHS, like us. You really should. I mean, there are so many people in America that are on poverty wages or on benefits. And you do, you start feeling like, because I, I do firmly believe that's what our government is trying to do, is to bring in American-style healthcare and get rid of the NHS. So they're constantly underfunding it and underpaying the stuff that work there. Oh my gosh, I'm out of energy. Didn't even notice, so busy hammering away. Okay. Um, but yeah, so... It's just... Because obviously the Conservatives, are like, you know, they... they they can afford private health care and fair play. If they want to pay for it, then that's their prerogative. But it does get to the stage where you've got poorer people dying because they can't afford the care, which I think is their aim. But what they don't realise is that if they let all the poor people die off, who's going to do the menial jobs? So they're not looking at it very logically because I can't see them going around emptying rubbish bins and cleaning people's houses or offices or whatever and you can guarantee that all these MPs have got house cleaners so yeah the world is a very disgusting place See, watching Prison Break and seeing, you know, all this stuff about the company. That's not fiction to me. That's fact. There is a shadowy organisation that controls the world, made up of extremely rich people. Well, yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's, I mean, we have it here. Um... You know, there are jobs that people think they're above doing. So we get, like, immigrants coming here who are willing to do the jobs because all they want to do is make a life for themselves. And then those same people that wouldn't do the jobs complain because there's somebody else doing them. And it's like, you know, step back, take a look at yourself, dude, because you wouldn't do it. So, 
So, why, why are you complaining? You'd rather the, the, you know, the streets weren't cleaned, the toilets were dirty, hospital wards were filthy, because you're not willing to pick up a broom and yourself, you know? Illuminati, exactly. I mean, I'm not a big one for conspiracy theories. Most of them I laugh out of the water, but I do strongly believe in that one. And they're the ones who control the prices as well, the cost of living. So that's why you see the, the energy companies making these obscene profits and yet still putting their prices up because they're told to. Yay, another one full. Okay, off we go to, I think, did we do here? We did, did a couple, didn't we? We didn't do over here. We'll do these and then go off to Sunlit Plateau. Yeah, yeah. That's the same as when we left the EU. Um, a lot of the migrant workers went home um, and haven't come back because they've made it too difficult for them to get back here. So we've had like farmers whose crops have rotted, you know, orchards where all the fruits rotted because there's no one to pick them because the good British folk think that it's beneath them. Absolutely ludicrous. I mean, it's either put up or shut up. If you don't want to do the job, then let the people come in who want to actually earn a living doing what you think of as menial work. I can't stand, um, yeah, exactly. I can't stand, like, racists, basically. You know, I just think most of them are just fucking, excuse the French, bullshitting hypocrites. Must everyone here be so... Now, what's the word? <laughs> yes, Scar, we must. I would much rather live in a multicultural society than one of these, like, private estates where only a certain kind of people are allowed to live. And if anybody dares to move in... Even if they've made the money to live there by the, you know, blood, sweat and tears of their own hard labour. But if anyone dares to move in, we'll make it quite clear they're not welcome. And it's like, okay, I just want all you people to live a normal life for a month. Come and clean hospital toilets, come and empty bins, you know, come and care for our old people who you leave rotting because they can't afford to go into a home. I haven't seen a blue chest either. I mean, put me in charge of the world and believe me, it'd be a better place because anybody who didn't agree with me, I'd shoot. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> I would like just to, I would sit down with people on a one-on-one -on -one and get them to explain their views and beliefs to me and how they came about this belief and, you know what I mean? Really dig deep into why they think that way because I don't get it. I have never ever understood disliking someone because of their like birthplace or the color of their skin or their religion or whatever. You know, there are two types of people in this world. There's nice people and there's nasty people. You're one or the other. Doesn't matter what fucking color you are. Excuse my French. Um, I wouldn't live in France. They have a lot of discontent there with their government and that generally spills over into a lot of rioting and fires and stuff. Um, Italy would be nice. Spain apparently is idyllic. I mean, I was watching a programme at Emma's at the weekend and it was people... Why didn't I go up to the Forbidden Zone? Uh, 
Um, it was people that lived on a budget in Spain. So I'm running out of energy again. What is going on? I'm not paying attention, am I? Oh, yeah, se definitely sexual orientation. Oh, right, okay. Um, I mean, my son's gay. And I would... Nearly full. I would fight in his corner any day of the week. I'd rather my son was gay than, than a racist, you know? And it's not an issue at all. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I just... I can't... I, I can't understand how people like that's mind works. It's completely and utterly alien to me. I just don't... I don't get it. Didn't need to eat that, but I'll eat that. Okay, Maybe pay more attention, Sally. You're losing your energies. But like uh, me and Alex were discussing yesterday about say what what he was saying like what would you do if you found out that all the world's volcanic plates were erupting and the world was going to be destroyed and only had two weeks and i said oh my god i'd live i'd live the lot i wouldn't worry about paying my bills i'd eat takeouts every night and sit at home and play video games and he went yeah but mum everybody would know so do you think people are really going to be want to work in takeaway places like when the world's coming to an end i was like no that's a fair point Okay, I'd stay in my house and make do because there'd be like rioting and looting. Um, and he said, well, why would they do that when the world's ending? I said, because that's what people do. There's just, there's a nasty streak in a, in a large majority of the human race. And if uh, something like that happens, and I've watched enough disaster movies to know this is what goes on. <laughs> um, if something like that happens, they, they, it, it just goes, they go crazy. Um, why you'd need to go looting when the world's going to blow up in two weeks, I don't know. But that's what people would do. So, and then he said, what about if it was a zombie apocalypse? And I said, well, I don't think I'd want to survive it because I couldn't run away from them. And I wouldn't want to become one. And he went, no, exactly. He said, so would you kill yourself? I said, well, yeah, probably. But then I'd become a zombie. Unless it was like I did a bullet in my brain or something. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. I, I, yeah, I, I wouldn't bother with the alcohol, but food and cigarettes, because if the world's going to end, I don't need to worry about getting cancer or a stroke or something. So, yeah, copious amounts of cigarettes. I'd smoke indoors because who's going to moan at me? Eat loads of food and, and play video games. I mean, I'm assuming they'd let us have the electricity till the last day. Or would they? Or would all the people that work there disappear as well? Gosh, so many questions. How much stone did I get? 71. Nothing to go in there. Okay. Ooh, that's getting full now. There we go. Much better. Shall we see how many chests I can craft? Sixteen now. I need another... Oh, now I've got two. I only need another six. Yeah, I think so. And then I could just sit by candlelight and read my books. In the When it got dark, obviously. But yeah, no, I do think if, if the world was coming to an end like that, I, I, I would not want to be out there on the streets because, like I say, people are rotten. Um... 
but I would. Shall I craft them now? And do you know what? Let's let's do it. So I've still got a lot of stone. So let's have a look. See, so yeah, I've still got plenty of stone. I just need softwood. But yeah, I mean, and, and I mean, like I say, we live in like a, I suppose you say two story. There's a flat below and there's us, so that's two stories, isn't it? I never know how they work it out. Um, but a two story block and with electronic gates to come into the like place. So it's quite secure. And I don't see like looters and that ramming the gates open just to get into some private houses when they've got all the shops. The paths, yes, yes. Actually, yes. I wish they did like a glow in the dark path, <laughs> that'd be cool. But I just I want a light coloured path, don't I? Yeah. Okay, let's have a look. No, it's not in there, is it? It's in crafting. Only 98. Right, so, I mean, that's quite light, isn't it? But I do like that one. Golden Brick Road with Border. That's the one I've already got up there. But then there's that one. Which is also nice. Hmm. Huh. Should I do candy pavement? Yeah, exactly. There's no point in doing that because like I said to Alex if, if it was a zombie apocalypse I'd be caught within 30 seconds because uh, even if they're the, the slow shuffling zombies instead of the um, fast moving ones depending on which genre bit you like to look at um, I, I'd, I'd never get away from them we do we do So what do you think? The deluxe sugar cookie pavement, stick with the gold brick one or go for the gem and opal one? What do you think? Or the golden opal? That That's going to be light as well, isn't it? And that uses the same amount to have a border. I might do that one. Well, I need to obviously... Go back in my house. Candy would be the cheapest, yeah. See how much gold I've got to make the gold bars. Press the wrong button. I could make 66. Hmm. No, not that one, that one. So, candy. So, I can have the deluxe one. Or that, and they both cost two candies. Yeah, the gems one takes a lot. I think I'd go with that one. Let's see. How much candy can I make? And how boring is it going to be? I can't remember how to make candy now. Is it just sugar? Uh, 
How much sugar have I got is the next question. 95. Okay, so if we say 90, that would be 45 chunks of pear. I need to go and plant some sugar, yeah. <laughs> I just saw what you said as I thought it. Okay, so Anna, I'm not hanging with you no more because I need to go and get yeah. some pumpkins harvested. I'll talk more soon, okay? Sure. Yeah, because that would be kind of like, I suppose, having a candy paving. Almost like um, Hansel and Gretel in the dark, dark woods kind of thing with the uh, the gingerbread house or the, well, the sweetie house, whatever it was called. So, yeah, I think that could work for me. And if I put, can you put the, you can't put the trees on that, can you? Ah. Ah. Mm. Okay. Where's it? Oh. Come oh, on, Minnie. Oh, Sugar's from the beach, isn't it? No, because I tried to do that paved area before for the trees, didn't I? And it wouldn't let me. But I could... Hmm. If I put them in a straight row up against the edge so that nothing can go behind them and then do like a path in front of them and one block in between each one that would show it all up wouldn't it that's a big job sally what are you letting yourself in for i've got no clue okay let's go to the beach Might as well buy a hundred and then I can do two lots. Okay. Yeah, do like a little bit at a time. There we go. Yes, yeah, so if I positioned like two or three trees, leaving a gap between each, and then did a path in front of them, and yeah, yeah, that's not too overwhelming, is it? Buy seeds from Dazzle Beach. Oh, okay. Wow, forgot they were a thing. Okay. All right, come on, Mini Moo. Let's go plant some sugar, honey. Oh. Oh, I see. You... Oh, I could, I could cuss her. I could. You may well stand there nodding your head in time to me picking them up, madam. But if you'd have thrown them when you were supposed to throw them, I wouldn't have to be doing that, would I? You horrible creature. Move. Move. Oh. 
At least the one bonus while she's hanging with me, she's not talking. Well, I'm just on a go slow. So, yeah, meatballs tonight. She doesn't, does she? Um, she's just weird and ignorant and scary and psychotic. Um, yes, do meatballs tonight. Spaghetti. Just like to plan these things out. So, yeah, so the bowl and the saucepan that I used for my noodles and crispy shredded chicken last night. I need to wash because I don't tend to wash up after I've eaten. I'm um, full. Yeah, meatballs and spaghetti. I did garlic bread with it last time, but um, we were both so full we couldn't actually finish. So I said to Alex, no garlic bread this time. I just need to, well, I say I need to learn how much spaghetti to do, but I've been cooking spaghetti for like, 40 years now and I still haven't learnt so that's not likely to happen I always cook too much I mean I still probably half the meals I cook now are cooked as if there was still me and the three kids at home so poor Alex he always apologises for leaving food in his plate and it's like don't apologise at least I know I filled you if your plate has still got food on it Yeah, go away now, Minnie, all right. Uh-huh. Bye. Goodbye. Well, you just have to leave the sauce, because if we have garlic bread, Alex doesn't even get halfway down his spaghetti. I can usually manage it, because I'm a fat gannet, but... Alex is a... He's a delicate little thing. He hasn't got a huge appetite, so, uh, bless him. So, yeah, he, uh, he, like, fades quite quickly. Uh, but I do love garlic bread. Maybe I should just, like, if, because sometimes I make my own. Sometimes I buy, like, a, a big round, I don't know how to pronounce it, focaccia or something. Um... And then sometimes I'll buy the, the ready, just the slices. So if I did that, I could always just maybe cook two. Although that seems... I don't know if I could manage that. I'd probably end up putting all six in. But yeah. I mean, it was like when we went to uh, Olive Gardens when we were in Florida. Oh, Like Alex said, the problem he's got with Olive Gardens is that their breadsticks are so delicious. You end up being full before you meal comes but uh see in this country breadsticks are nothing like that they're like these thin crispy crunchy things but yeah your breadsticks are like they're like sticks of bread <laughs> that's all i can say and they're delicious but yes and I also like the fact, because my daughter ordered, um, I don't remember what meal she had, but it came with like a bowl of salad. And there was a giant bowl of salad. It was so huge. So I had to help her eat it, which, you know, I was very virtuous about it because obviously salad isn't fattening. So, uh, and I love salad. So I was just there like, oh yeah, I'll have a bit more. Oh yeah, go on then, I'll have a bit more. Oh, and where we're staying this time, but Lake Buena Vista. Um, there's an olive garden just across the road or around the corner or something from the Rosen that we're staying at. So that'll be nice. Taco Bell's a bit far away, though. I looked on the map, but I can always zip there on my mobility scooter, eh?
Just wait till everyone's asleep, sneak out and go and get myself a sneaky Taco Bell. Nobody else needs to know. chest yay yes that's what james said actually um uber eats deliver from taco bell so that's fine we can just order a feast in all right and now i have got my blue chest i feel complete so, how long does sugar take to grow? Will it be done by tomorrow or do I need to water it again? I can never remember. See, this is, again, in Animal Crossing, I would have written down how long it takes to grow, how often it needs watering. And I could Google it, but I can't be bothered. I would have had my nice little chart all set out. Oh, it's got that one. And say hello to Nala because I like Nala. Seven minutes. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Oh, so I could uh -huh. harvest them. Yeah. It's so good Goodbye. to see you. Are you a gardener, Nala? I can't remember. Yes, she is. Hi. Okay, so that shouldn't take long. It only needs watering once. I mean, I wish you could just go up to it and it'd say, like, how long was left or a little bar with how long till it was full. Yeah, it'd be very useful. I'll go look for some more sticks while I wait. Tum ti tum ti tum ti tum. Oh, here it comes. It's all right, Minnie. I've got someone else to help me this time. Go away. Don't get in my way. And stop making your strange noises at me. There we go. Oh, gosh, I've run out of energy again. Dear, oh dear, I haven't been very observant at all today, have I? That's it, oh, there we go. Thanking you, no, I'm not planting yet, thanks. I'm going to gather up all this lovely stuff that Nala has thrown at me in good time. There we go. It was fast, wasn't it? Yeah. 
Right, eat something. Yeah. Did I just miss that first hole? Why? That's just, I suppose we're going to go back down there and just fill in that last hole. No, no, we're actually carrying on. Oh, yeah. Yes. Trouble is, then I'll get twitchy thinking what am I missing out in the shop when I'm not here. If I don't do it daily, I could be missing out on some lovely new stuff. But yeah, I see, I wanted. I've got enough to buy that sweetie house. But, um. I'm not, I'm hoping it comes back one day. I mean, we've got a good long time till September, so in September hopefully I can start the star path and buy something from the premium shop. And, 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 and still have moonstones left over. Come on now. Focus on your job, Sally. Excuse me. See, she moves. I don't think I will have done very well on the beach. Um, I mean, my, my design skills aren't great but i have noticed a lot of photos in the beach one where it's what the ocean something was the challenge you can't see the blooming ocean so i have not voted for them i've voted for ones where i can actually see the ocean because that's part of the challenge surely As long as I get a few moans, moan stones. If I get some moan stones, I'll be happy with that. So 142 sugar from 50 planted. That's not bad going. I likes, I likes. Right. And why have I kept 21 pumpkins? That's very odd of me. Okay, sugar is in one of these. This one. That's better. So now I've got uh, 237 sugar. That's a start. And where were my pumpkins? I did have some pumpkins in a chest. I just canny for the life of me remember where because I don't usually save pumpkins. There. Oh, I put my carrots away as well, just in case I ever do get around to feeding the bunnies. And seeds in here. Oh yes, of course, thank you. See, I do worry myself sometimes. Uh, this was the meals one, wasn't it? Yeah, let's fill up ready for Friday. We started playing a new game last night. What was it? Season Story. M Friends of Mineral Valley. Um, which is like a farming game. It was alright. Wasn't... Um... Hang on now then. That's that and that. That one. Yes. 
it's 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 not bad it took, it took me a while to work out what the hell i was doing because it doesn't i mean for a start it was when i looked on like the introductory bit where you get tuition bits like and it tells you how to like plant and harvest and uh <laughs> it's like so you need to use a hoe and a watering can to water the crops and i went to all the shops so they had nothing. I looked around my house. I had nothing. So I had to look it up. There's a toolbox outside your house that's got all the tools in that you need. I think I saw Pallia on um on the Xbox as well. I said to Alex, I have like seen a lot of people who play Dreamlight Valley play that. But um, this is, you know, I've planted some turnips. Basically, you plant turn uh, and you harvest and you sell them. Um, at the, I've got one chicken at the moment and I've got this foal that uh, a neighbour asked me to look after. Um, so it's kind of Stardew Valley-ish. But uh, Stardew Valley, like, broke me basically because there was just too much going on at the same time. Like with all the different events and the mining and and yeah, I just couldn't. Oh, is it only PC currently? That's probably where I've seen it on uh, when we were looking through um, games. So yeah. But uh, right, that is me done. It is twenty-five past three, so a little longer this time. Um. So I will be back on Friday and we will carry on doing what we're doing and see if we can see if tidy up the forgotten forgotten lands a little bit on Friday. Move a few things about and see what we're at. See if it shows up the wood better. And and also as well, um sort out this chest. Empty it out so put things in the other chests so then I can get more of this chest and have it have one in every uh, biome so I can drop things off that would make life a lot easier um, I will do I mean I'm looking forward to seeing Olga I'm looking forward even more to going to Cadbury World because you get to watch the chocolate being made and you get to sample it and and look at all the history of it and I, I've only ever been once and then at the end, you get to go into the Cadbury shop <laughs> where they sell everything. I'm hoping they'll have some cream eggs because here they only sell, like, start selling cream eggs just after Christmas and then stop selling them after Easter. Um, but, yeah, um, do you have Cadbury's in the States? I don't know if you do, do you? you know, like Dairy Milk and Whisper and... Um, Flake, what else do Cadbury's do? Oh, loads of things, Cadbury's caramel, um, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's it is rather lovely. Right then, I will see you hopefully on Friday, and enjoy your couple of days off. <laughs> uh. And uh, oh, eighty-four minutes—that's a long one, isn't it? And uh, thank you for watching. Okay, but yeah, it's only down the road from us, Cadbury's is as well, so it's quite close. In fact, Alex went to Cadbury College. So, right. Thank you for watching. Bye.